salute. Very well. Good morning, Mrs. Russell. It's a lovely day for the garden party, isn't yes, it? Yes, it certainly is. Yes. Are the signs ready yet? Yes, I've just finished them, Mrs. Russell. Oh. There we are. You are a brick. Oh. I'm afraid they've been a frightful chore. They're well, not really. Uh, no. Good morning, Mrs. Russell. Good morning, Your Lordship. I suppose all you good ladies are working hard? Well, somebody's got to, haven't they, my Lord? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd better go and put these signs up. It was a bit uncalled for, wasn't it, Newt? <laughs> Anybody think I didn't do my share of work towards the garden party? Well, you're going to this year, aren't you, my lord? Eh? Oh, am I? Oh, yes, my lord. You're going to do the Tom Bowler tickets. Oh, the Tom Bowler tickets, yes. Did I, uh, did I say I'd do them? Uh, yes, lord, you did. And they're, they, they're in the box, on the desk, with the scissors and the paper. You, uh, you wouldn't like to do them, would you, Lord? No, my lord, no. It's a, a rotten job. Wow, well, it's only, it's only a matter of cutting these things up into squares, isn't it? Yes, my lord, yes. One thousand five hundred of them. <laughs> as many as that? Well, I told you it was a rotten job. Oh, well, I suppose she looks as though we're going to have a lovely afternoon. Oh, I'm sure we shall, my lord, except there is one <coughs> tiny problem. Oh, what's that? Uh, well, the archdeacon, my lord, is insisting on doing his fortune-telling again. Ah, well, you must remember, Ruth, that he raised a lot of money last year. Yes, he also raised a lot of eyebrows. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Well, it was rather unfortunate that he won that bottle of sherry on Tom Bowler so early in the afternoon. <laughs> Tell me, how do I know when I've, how many of these things I've cut up? Well, you have to keep counting. Oh, do I? That's what makes it such a rotten job. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, let me... What? What's this? Um, a letter, my lord. Well, of course, I can see that. No, yes. but what is it? Well, I, it came by the second place, but I think it's a mistake, my lord, really. A mistake? Yes, because although it's addressed to you, it starts, um, Dear Piggy, and ends up, Lots of love, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's written! <gasps> she's coming. She's coming. Oh, no, she's coming! Do you hear that? She's coming. Oh, I'm saying, so, who's coming? <laughs> Poppy! I mean, uh, Mrs. Arnold, a dear old friend of mine. Oh, Mrs. Arnold, isn't that the lady that you met at your sister's at Christmas, but all the one who'd been living in Australia and who didn't recognise you because you'd uh, filled out? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember that, no. Oh, you must do, my lord, because after that, you bought your exercise wheel. Never mind all that, no. The point is that I've invited her down here to the garden party today, and she has accepted. So I get her. <sighs> morning, Bishop. Ah, morning, Henry. <laughs> Have you, uh, have you got my sign, uh, Newt? Oh, yes, I'll take it down. But I didn't put the price on because I didn't know what it was. Uh, fifty new pence. But, Henry, I thought you only charged a shilling last year. That's right, Bishop. <laughs> I rounded it up. <laughs> last thing, you won't say any of those awful things like you said last year, will you? Oh, but I only told them what was in the cards. Yes, Henry, well, I'm afraid you've got to censor it a bit this year. Mm -hmm. I don't want any embarrassment. Not when there are private guests. Come. What private guests? The bishop's got a private guest, aren't you? A Mrs. Arnold. A woman, bishop. A lady, Henry. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, Henry, a lady that I met again last Christmas after nearly 30 years. <laughs> she must have noticed a change. <laughs> oh, she did, I see. In fact, she didn't recognise the bishop because he had uh, filled out. Ah, well, there's no need to go into all that. Now, come along, Henry. You see, since I met her again, I intend to see more of her. How much more, Bishop? Uh, Henry, <laughs> now, I will tell you, both of you, but in the strictest confidence, that I have asked Mrs. Arnold down here today to do something that I should have done 30 years ago. Steady, Bishop. Uh, <laughs> I mean propose to oh, her. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Oh, congratulations, my lord. Oh, thank you, Newt. Thank you. Well, Henry, aren't you going to congratulate me? Oh, yes, yes, Bishop. Uh, let me uh, drink your health. There is no need for that. <laughs> Not in view of the fact that you're telling fortunes again this afternoon. Oh, isn't there, Bishop? No, Henry. Oh, oh uh, well, if you say so. I do. My lord. Yes, Newt. Well, if it's something that you should have done 30 years ago, but well, why didn't you do it? Shyness, Newt. Oh, was she very shy? Not her, me. <laughs> you, my lord, you're not shy. Well, if I don't appear to be shy now, Newt, it is because I made it my business over the years to disguise the fact. Well, you've done a very good job of it. <laughs> I can assure you, Newt, that if you had known me at the age of 23 at our tennis club dance... Tennis club? You used to play tennis, my lord? Well, of course I did, Newt. It was my favourite game. 
matter of fact, I had a very good service. Mm -hmm. That must be before you are filled out. Uh, <laughs> as I was saying, Newt, if you had known me at the tennis club, you would have realised how very shy I was. Uh, is that what stopped you proposing to her, Well, yes, of course, you see, yeah. Newt. I had made up my mind to ask her after the third dance. Uh -huh. And, and, and when I got to the point, well, I, I, I didn't know how to start. Mm. Oh, and say, what happened? Well, I never got a chance to get her alone again. There was a great lout there with flaming red hair called Geoffrey Plumstead. And I mean, whenever she went, he followed her like her shadow. But well, wasn't there another opportunity, my lord? Only one, Newt. Oh. And it was when I found her in the supper room, all alone, just before the last dance. And I was absolutely determined to conquer my shyness once and for all. I went in shut the door, went up to her, sat down, took her hand. Uh, steady, Bishop. Oh. <laughs> and what happened then, my lord? That great oaf blundered in. Well, the oaf with the red hair? Huh? Yes. Said she'd promised him the last dance. And had she? Oh, well, apparently. Anyway, she had to go. I could see that she didn't want to. She gave me such a sad, sweet smile. I expect she knew that he was going to tramp all over. He got feet like fishing smacks. <laughs> and didn't you see her again, my lord? Only once, Newt. Only once. During the war at the theatre. And the play was uh, The Dancing Years. Oh, yes, yes. Olive Gilbert, such a well-built woman. Oh, Henry. <laughs> anyway, the lights went up after the first act. And there in a box sat Poppy. Oh, and what did you do, my lord? I pushed my way through the crowd. Oh, you managed to conquer your shyness by then. Yes. I've begun to, yes. I pushed my way through the crowd, knocked on the door, went in, and there she was, all alone, and do you know she recognised me at once. Oh, I see, that was before you filled out. Uh, <laughs> and what did she say? She said she was married. What, to the red-haired oaf? Oh, no, not him. <laughs> He turned out to be a professional tennis player. <laughs> was that the last time that you saw him, Madonna? Yes, Newt, until last Christmas. And I walked into my sister's drawing room and there she was again. She'd been a widow for six years uh, and had come back to England to look up old friends. Oh, I say, do you think she might have come to uh, look for you, my lord? Well, Newt, I rather suspect that she might have done. <laughs> and that's why I've asked her down here to open the garden party this afternoon. Uh, to open. Oh, well, what about Mrs. Pugh Critchley? Well, what about her? Well, she's expecting to open it. She always does. Won't she be upset? Oh, not under the circumstances, Newt. Oh, well, are you going to explain the circumstances to her? Huh? Oh, certainly not. Now, remember, both of you two, this is in the strictest confidence. Oh, yes. Baby, come in. Oh, yes. Steady. Steady. Good morning, Bishop. Uh, good morning, dear Mrs. Pugh Critchley. I hope you don't mind us coming through this way. Not at all, not at all. Oh, oh, morning, Dean. Morning, my lord. Uh, morning, my lord. lord. <laughs> no, be so good as to go on ahead and put this cloth on the table. Yes, of course, Mrs. Pugh. What are you doing, lad? Oh, I, I thought I'd just put these down for a moment, my love. No, no, we're going straight out. Oh, very well. Dean, might I inquire what all those tins contain? Uh, uh, cakes? Uh, my lord, homemade cakes? Steady, my lord. What, all of them? Yes. And all freshly made this morning. Yes. Grace has been up since five o'clock. Jimmy Marble. Uh, yes, my lord. I've made some of my own fleet scones. Mm. Five dozen almond tarts, six dozen chocolate drops, and eight marble cakes. Marble? <laughs> Did you say marble? Yes, Archdeacon. Uh, they must be very heavy, Dean. <laughs> they are, Archdeacon. Marble. Uh, uh, the tins, Grace. I meant the tins. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Well, I was just resting them here for a moment, my love. No, 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 there's no need for that. Well, yeah, is there? Oh, are we? Come yeah. along. Yeah. Uh, mount the uh, table. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there's one thing. Yeah. Archdeacon, yes. I trust you don't intend to tell fortunes again after what you told me last year. Why, didn't it come true? No. And I'm bound to say, I hope it never does. <laughs> come along, lad. Oh, are we going now? Yes, yes, come along. Ah, right. Yeah. Oh, Bishop. Uh, oh, yes, madam. <laughs> I've just remembered. Would you like to hear what I'm going to say when I open the garden party? Oh. Uh, uh, Grace, my love. What is it, love? Well, if you're going to chat, perhaps I could just set these down here. No, 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 it won't take a minute. Oh, very well. I thought I'd begin. Well, but... madam, I'm terribly sorry, but I must tell you that I am afraid I have got someone else to open the garden party this afternoon. You've done what? What? Steady, Lionel. But 
I bought a new hat. Oh, I'm very sorry, dear lady. I couldn't give you any more warning because I've only just found out that the, the other lady can do it. What other lady? I always open the garden party. Oh, but of course, of course. Yes, uh, I Grace know. is the first lady of the close, my lord. <laughs> Teddy and Arnold. Aren't you satisfied with the way I do it? Oh, but dear madam, there is no question of that. Then perhaps you care to give me an explanation as to why you've asked somebody else. Oh, an explanation? Well, that would take rather a long time, wouldn't it, Henry? In that case, I think I'll just sit down. <laughs> you realise, of course, that I've done it for the last ten years. Ah, then of course you will realise that you deserve a rest. A rest? <laughs> now I've heard everything. Mm. Lionel? Yes, my love. Come along. Here I come, my love. Ah! Steady, Lionel! Steady. Oh. Oh. oh, hello, Mr. Pugretti. Will that be all right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yes, I suppose so. I must admit, I've rather lost interest in the whole business. Oh, dear, has he told you that you're not going to open the garden party? Yes, Newt, he has. But he has a very good reason for it. Really? I'd like to know it. Well, it's strictly confidential. <laughs> what? Well, you see, he's... What? <laughs> I don't believe it. It's the strictest confidence, of course. <laughs> Yes, my love. Uh, quickly, love. I'm coming as quickly as I can, my love. You'll never guess what I've just heard. Oh, well, then I'll just set this down for a minute. Oh, no, don't bother about that. Oh. I've got something to tell you. In the strictest confidence, of course. In the strictest confidence. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my love, what? You know that woman? He's asked to open the party. Yes, Grace, yes. yes. Well, it seems he's yes. going to... <laughs> what? I'm very sorry, my lover. I, I thought you said that he was going to marry her. But he is going to marry her. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm afraid you'll have to go and do the tombola tickets after all. Me, my lord, why? Well, I've got to go and change. I must put my best on. I can't possibly meet her like this. Come on. Oh, there. Yeah. Very well. Oh, there, now. You see? Yes, and I, I, think, I think it's excellent news, my love. Excellent? What's excellent about it? Well, a woman's influence. Think what that might do for him. You mean she might curb his self-indulgence? Yes, look what you did for me. <laughs> yes, that's true. But as the bishop's wife, she would be the first lady of the close. Ah, but she will have to come to you for guidance. Hmm, well, I hope she will. We don't want someone who won't fit in. Mm. You'll be able to manage her, my love. And who knows, she could be a friend for you. Yes, she could, couldn't she? Yes, you know you've always wanted one. <laughs> You know, Lionel, I'm quite looking forward to meeting her. Mm. Come along, we must put these cakes out. Yes. Mm. 348, 349, 350. 350. Oh, haven't you finished that? Well, it's nearly 2 o'clock. 53. Oh, oh. How do I look? Oh, very nice. <laughs> the coat fits very well, don't you think? Oh, yes, my lord. Was that the exercise wheel? <laughs> There's nothing whatever to do with it, Newt. The coat has always been a good fit. Excuse us, Bishop. Just going to get a few things. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what are they coming through here for? Oh, shortcut, my lord. They've been doing it all morning. Well, I hope they're not going to do it all afternoon. Mm. I don't want to be interrupted when I'm talking to Tom. <laughs> excuse us. <laughs> you see what I mean? It would be very inconvenient if I'm talking. Excuse slightly. me. <laughs> well, I expect they'll stop, my lord, as soon as the garden party. Well, I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to put my foot down, Newt. One, three, four. Oh, excuse me, madam. <laughs> Henry, it's you. What is it, Bishop? What, what have you got on, Archdeacon? <laughs> Don't you like it? What's it supposed to be? Well, it's just my fortune telling ring. <laughs> You didn't wear it last year, Archdeacon. No, no, but that's why it's an improvement. That is a matter of opinion, Henry. <laughs> well, Lord, you must admit that he looks very impressive. Impressive? He looks like Danny LaRue's mother. <laughs> Danny LaRue? How dare you, Bishop? Oh, now, go on, Henry. Take, take it off. On. A, take it off at once. Go on. Oh. I'm not going to have you walking about making an exhibition of yourself like that. Oh. Well, he won't be walking about, my lord. You'll be in your tent, won't you, Archdeacon? Yes. Oh, well, in that case, I suppose it's all right. But, Henry, you are not to come out of it. No, no, I won't, Bishop. Except to meet her. her meet her? Yes. I can't have her seeing you like that, Henry. She'd get quite the wrong impression. Now, promise me, you will not 
come out of your tent. Oh, all right, Bishop. Uh, I'll just have a glass of sherry. And you won't do that either. <laughs> no, not in view of your fortune telling this afternoon. Oh, oh. Uh, but it's thirsty work telling fortunes. All right then, Henry, go and get a cup of tea. Oh, now, come along, off well. you go. And be very careful what you say to people this year. Oh, you're right, Bishop. I shall only tell them it's in the cards. Good. Oh, Excuse me, may I... Madam, I'm tell... Poppy, it's you. Yes, Piggy. <laughs> Am I a bit early? Oh, no, no, how could you be? Oh, baby, come in, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> Thank you. This is Mervyn Newt, my domestic chaplain. How do you do? Oh, how do you do? What an honor. I shall treasure this moment always. Well, I shall, Mervyn, yes. <laughs> Will you? Did, did you have a good journey? Oh, wonderful, thank you. Oh, well, uh, do, do, do sit down. There's a half an hour before the party, and I want to talk to you. Oh, about the opening? Oh, well, about the opening and uh, other things. <laughs> Note. Oh, yes, my lord. Yes, the Tom Faber thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Note. Yes, my lord. Yes. Don't you think you'd rather do it outside? Outside, my lord. Yes, Note. Outside. Outside. Oh, outside. Yes, of course. <laughs> outside. I'll, uh, I'll just go and do it on outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Poppy. Oh, it is nice to see you here. Oh, well, it's nice to be here, Piggy. Oh, is it, Poppy? Is it really? Is it really nice? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, mm -hmm. And it was uh, very nice to see you at Christmas, oh, too. Oh, oh, yes, that was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, but we, you see, we didn't have a chance to be alone, did we? No, but then one never does at parties. Ah, well, this party is going to be different. Oh, really? Yes. You see, after the opening, I thought we could come back here and have a cup of tea, just the two of us, on our own. Ah, uh, but what about Geoffrey? Geoffrey? Who's Geoffrey? Oh, you remember Geoffrey Plumstead of the tennis club? <laughs> oh, you don't mean he's coming? Oh, yes, of course. He drove me down in the car, but he's having a bit of trouble parking. Mm. May I come in? Oh, there you are. You remember Piggy Heaver, don't you? Well, of course. How are you, Piggy, old chap? Oh, oh good <laughs> heavens, you filled out. <laughs> Geoffrey, it is very nice to see... No, no, don't get up, please. Now, what a nice old place you've got here. Oh, well, I'm very glad it meets with your approval. Of course, it's all thrown in, I suppose. Goes with the job, eh? Well, it is certainly the bishop's residence. You know, you've really done very well, Piggy. Oh, glad you think so. Oh, yes. I was only saying to Poppy in the car, you're the last person I'd have expected to get anywhere. Oh, really? <laughs> well, thank you. Well, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> come along, Poppy. Oh, yes, Piggy? Um, I want to talk to you about the opening, and I can't very well talk in here. Oh, can't you? Why not? Well, um, 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 I, I want to show you the rose car. Oh, what a good idea. Uh, so if you'll excuse us, Geoffrey. Oh, yeah, I'm coming too. What? What for? Well, I want to see your roses, of course. You... Yeah. Hey! Oh, no, no, wait a moment. Archdeacon. Archdeacon. Uh, yes, Newt. I thought you'd like to know that Mrs. Arnold's arrived. Oh, has she really? Yes. Uh, what's she like? Oh, she's very attractive, Archdeacon. Got the most lovely fair hair. Oh, blonde. Oh, yes. I must see her at once. But, Archdeacon, you promised the bishop that you'd stay in your tent. Oh, don't worry. I won't let anyone see me. Oh. Yeah, Arnold. Isn't that a picture? Yes, indeed, my love. Newt, uh, Newt. Oh, yes, Mrs. Fugritzler. Has she arrived? Oh, yes, she has, yes, and she's most charming. Really? Yes. Where is she? She's in the study with the bishop now. <laughs> but if you'll excuse me, I must get on with my Tom Bill and take in. Of course, of course. Do you know, Lionel, I, I think I'll go and introduce myself. Mm, the bishop might want to be alone with her, my love. Well, if he does, I'm sure she'd wish to know there was another woman about. <laughs> Come along, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see her, my love? No, not quite. Oh, yes, there she is. <laughs> no! Scott! Don't think I could make a friend of her, Lionel. Uh, we must remember not to judge by appearances, Grace. Oh, by what? Look what 
she's doing? <laughs> Did you ever see anything like it? Never. What does it mean? It means we can't rely on her to curb the bishop's self-indulgence. <laughs> Have you, have you uh, met Mrs. Arnold yet? No, no, but we've seen her. We certainly have. Oh, isn't she attractive? <laughs> attractive? Well, I must say, there's no accounting for some people's tastes. Come oh. along, Lionel. Hello? Hello? Oh, yes, yes. Luke, what is it? Oh, there you are, my lord. Uh, where's Mrs. Arnold? She's just coming. Oh, have you off the question yet? No, Newt, I have not. Oh, did you get shy again? I didn't get time to get anything, Newt. <laughs> there you are, piggy. Sorry we lost you. Oh, who's this? Oh, that's uh, Mervyn Newt, my domestic chaplain. Ah, you're the chap who does all the work, I suppose. Oh, how very kind, Mr. Uh... Plumstead. Jeffrey Plumstead. Plum... Oh, no, sirs. <laughs> you're the red-haired... Oh, 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 um... <laughs> well, Timmy, did you used to have red hair? Yes. yes. How do you know? Well, well, the bishop just happened to have mentioned it. Mm. Ah, you've been talking about me, have you, Piggy? Oh, yes, don't worry, Geoffrey. You haven't been forgotten. And now, Poppy, my dear, I should just like to have a private chat. What now? Oh, well, yes, I think so. Now's as good a time as any, don't you? Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll leave you both alone. Come along, Mervyn. <laughs> you can show me where the garden no. party is. No, I didn't mean What's that. What's the matter, old chap? <laughs> well, I wanted to talk to Poppy. What about... Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, just a private matter. I expect you wanted to propose to her. Uh, why should you think that? Well, you did the last time. Last time? That night at the tennis club dance, you trailed around after her all evening. Did you know I was going to propose to her? Well, of course. Then why did you keep getting in the way? Well, I knew she'd never marry you. Did she say so? No, but frankly, old boy, she wasn't very impressed with your game. Uh, my game? What game? <laughs> Well, tennis, old chap. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, everything. You know what girls are? That service of yours would have put anyone off. I cannot <laughs> believe that Poppy's decision will be in any way affected by my ability at tennis when I propose to her this afternoon. Maybe. But I'll tell you something that will affect it. Oh, what's that? She's going to marry me. Uh, what? <laughs> when? I popped the question on the way down here. Uh, did she accept? Well, no, not exactly, but she said she'd think it over. Then if I were you, I shouldn't get too confident. Why not? Well, I don't wish to appear rude, but some of us have given up tense. Looking at you, I'd say that was pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> what I mean is that some of us are concerned with things that are far more important than just a mere game. Mere? What do you mean, mere? You only say that because you can't play it. Oh, get too excited. I'm not getting excited. You're the one who's getting excited. And if I were in your condition, I'd worry about my blood pressure. I don't worry about my blood pressure. Where are you going? Out into the garden until you cool down. But I don't want to cool down. Oh, this is too much. Where's my decanter gone? Uh, my lord. What was that? Oh. I hope you'll forgive this intrusion, but... We feel we must speak to you. Oh, well, is it, is it important? Extremely. Uh, uh, may we sit down? Oh, oh yes, yes, if you, if you really feel you must. Uh, well, my lord, we'll come straight to the point. Won't we, Lionel? Yes, my love. <laughs> my lord, it concerns your proposed marriage. My marriage? Who told you about that? Your chaplain. Oh, did he? In the strictest confidence. Yes, well, I can't see that it's got anything to do with you, Dean. Well, frankly, my lord, we've come to beg you to reconsider it. Why? Because a large gap in age can put an added strain on a marriage. But I'm only two years older than this lady, madam. Older? You are older? But of course. She can't have taken care of her skin. <laughs> Frankly, my love, she can't have taken care of anything. <laughs> Dean, I would have you know that Mrs. Arnold is an extremely handsome woman. Oh, yes, of course, my lord. We must remember, Grace, that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We certainly must. But, Bishop, do you think this lady will be equal to the position she'll have to fill? In what sense? Morally. How dare you? Uh, well, what about socially, my lord? Remember, she'll have to take over the chairmanship of the Ladies' Guild, the Mother's Union, 
The friends of the cathedral. What are you doing, my lord? <laughs> Looking for my decanter. Ah, do you hear that, Grace? I think we can help you there, my lord. Why, do you know where it is? In the shrubbery. But what on earth is it doing in the shrubbery? I'm afraid you will have to ask your fiancé that. Poppy? Did she take it there? She not only took it, she was drinking its contents. Wait. Before she disappeared behind the laurel bush. But I can't believe it. It gives us no pleasure to have to tell you this, my lord. But we feel it is our duty. Better to find out now than later. We cannot stand by and watch you throw yourself away on this shameless creature. Poppy, a shameless creature? Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Archdeacon! Archdeacon! Yes? What are you doing in those ridiculous clothes? We, we thought you were someone else. What else? Did you think he <laughs> was Mrs. Arnold? Yes, my lord, I fear we did. And you imagine that I marry a mossy no rag bag like that? <laughs> I resent that, Bishop. Not half as much as I do, Henry. Lionel, we're going home. What now, my love? Yes, now, now. But the garden party hasn't started yet. I don't care. I can't take any more of this. Yeah. You seem to forget, Lionel, that I've been up since five. I don't forget, my love, but there's something that you seem to forget. What's that? I've been up since quarter to five. What? <laughs> now, 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 wait for me. Henry, I told you to stay in your tent. I mean, suppose Mrs. Arnold sees you. She has seen me, Bishop. She has? Yes, and I've just told her fortune. Henry, what on earth did you tell her? That she should marry her childhood sweetheart. <laughs> oh, Henry, you clever old archdeacon. Oh, it's nothing to do with me, Bishop. No, I know, Henry. It's all in the cards. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you, Henry. Well, I must get back to work. Right. Oh! Ha, ha, ha. Now then, where was I? Oh, yes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, blast. Oh, there you are, Tiggy. Oh. Tiggy, I've got some wonderful news. Yes, I know. Do you? Who told you? Henry. I, I, I mean the old, uh, the old fortune teller. And you know, it's made me a really happy man. Oh, Tiggy dear, you are sweet. But then you've known us both for a very long time, haven't you? Both? Yes, Geoffrey and me. Geoffrey? But what's it got to do with Geoffrey? Well, I'm going to marry him. Uh, Oh, well, look, 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 let's get this clear. You see, Henry, I, I mean the old fortune teller, he said that you were going to marry your childhood sweetheart. Yes, yes, she said that she could see me tying a true lover's knot with him. But not with Geoffrey. I mean, Geoffrey wasn't your childhood sweetheart. Oh, was of it? course he was. I was always mad about him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why didn't you marry him? Oh, he wouldn't. He said it might spoil his game. That follows. <laughs> Uh, have you heard the news, Piggy? Yes, I have. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me? Uh, Geoffrey, do be frank. Time to open the garden party, my oh, oh, good. Well, uh, shall we go? Come along, my dear. Take my arm. <laughs> my lord? My lord? Yes, Newt. When are you going to announce your engagement? I am not Newt. It is off. Oh, dear. Did your shyness come back? No. <laughs> my past did Newt and far too much of it. However, I have reached three vital conclusions. Yes, Barry, and what are they, my lord? That it is better to live in the present, and that tennis is not my favourite game. <laughs> I thought you said there were three, my lord. Oh, so I did. But what's the third? At all costs, the archdeacon is to be stopped telling fortunes. Now, come on, Luke, or we missed the opening. Oh, right there, my lord. <laughs> You are a brick. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid they've been a frightful chore. Oh, not really. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Russell. Good morning, Your Lordship. I suppose all you good ladies are working hard. Well, somebody's got to, haven't they, my lord? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd better go and put these signs up. It was a bit uncalled for, wasn't it, Newt? Mm -hmm. Anybody think I didn't do my share of work towards the garden party? Well, you're going to this year, aren't you, my lord? Eh? Oh, am I? Yes, my lord. You were going to do the Tom Bowler tickets. Oh, the Tom Bowler tickets, yes. Did I, uh, did I say I'd do them? Uh, yes, my lord, you did, and they're, they're in the box, on the desk, with the scissors and the paper. You, uh, 
You wouldn't like to do them, would you, Lute? No, 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 it's a, a rotten job. Wow, well, it's only, it's only a matter of cutting these things up into squares, isn't it? Yes, my lord, yes. 1,500 of them. <laughs> as many as that? Well, I told you it was a rotten job. Oh, oh well, I suppose she looks as though we're going to have a lovely afternoon. Oh, I'm sure we shall, my lord, except there is one <laughs> tiny problem. Oh. A private guest. Come. What? Private guests. The bishop's got a private guest, aren't you? Mrs. Arnold. A woman, Bishop. A lady, Henry. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, Henry, a lady that I met again last Christmas after nearly 30 years. <laughs> she must have noticed a change. <laughs> oh, she did, I see. In fact, she didn't recognise the bishop because he'd uh, filled out. Ah, well, there's no need to go into all that. Now, come along, Henry. You see, since I met her again, I intend to see more of her. How much more, Bishop? Uh, Henry, <laughs> now, I will tell you, both of you, but in the strictest confidence, that I have asked Mrs. Arnold down here today to do something that I should have done 30 years ago. Steady, Bishop. Uh, <laughs> I mean propose. To her. Oh, 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 is that all? I mean, uh, Mrs. Arnold, a dear old friend of mine. Oh, Mrs. Arnold, isn't that the lady that you met at your sister's at Christmas, but all the one who'd been living in Australia and who didn't recognise you because you'd, uh, filled out? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember that, no. Oh, you must do, my lord, because after that you bought your exercise wheel. Never mind all that, Duke. The point is that I've invited her down here to the garden party today and she has accepted. So I get her. Morning, Bishop. Ah, morning, Henry. Uh, have you, uh, have you got my sign, uh, Newt? Oh, yes, I think it's here. But I didn't put the price on because I didn't know what it was. Uh, fifty new pence. But, Henry, I thought you only charged a shilling last year. That's right, Bishop. <laughs> I've rounded it up. <laughs> but, Archdeacon, no, you won't say any of those awful things like you said last year, will you? Oh, but I only told them what was in the cards. Yes, Henry, well, I'm afraid you've got to censor it a bit this year. Mm -hmm. I don't want any embarrassment. Not when there are... What's that? Uh, well, the Archdeacon, my lord, is insisting on doing his fortune-telling again. Ah, well, you must remember, Ruth, that he raised a lot of money last year. Yes, he also raised a lot of eyebrows. Uh, oh, yes. Well, it was rather unfortunate that he won that bottle of sherry on Tombola so early in the afternoon. Tell me, how do I know when I've, how many of these things I've cut up? Well, you have to keep counting. Oh, do I? That's what makes it such a rotten job. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, let me... What? What's this? Um, a letter, my lord. Well, of course, I can see that. No, yes. but what is it? Well, I, it came by the second place, but I think it's a mistake, my lord, really. A mistake? Yes, because although it's addressed to you, it starts, um, Dear Piggy, and ends up, Lots of love, Poppy. <laughs> what? She's written! <gasps> she's coming. She's coming. Oh, no, she's coming! Do you hear that? She's coming. Oh, I'm saying, who's coming? <laughs> Poppy! Good morning, Mrs. Russell. It's a lovely day for the garden party. Isn't yes, it? it certainly is. Yes. Are the signs ready yet? Yes, I've just finished them, Mrs. Russell. 